Today, I'm going to do some work on this Opus Stella? Opus Stelle. <laughs> Keep watching and uh, see how it goes. So this was dropped off to me by the owner and uh, she wanted uh, a little bit of work, basically a tune-up. I've already kind of done the brakes and uh, you know, we'll just inspect the rest. The wheels are, uh, are good. Hey, every time I get a bike, I'm gonna do an inspection first. So that way I kind of know what's uh, what's really going on. We have some good parts there. Um, we have a barrel adjuster on the right side, so the rear. And like I said, it's an Opus. Stella? <laughs> ah, look at that, 105 front derailleur. Apparently the shifting is a little jangly. So take a peek at the brakes here. Like I said, I've already done these, so it's kind of just checking out the rest of it. Got an Altegra rear derailleur. I noticed that the, the rear brake track is getting a little concave and that means that it's just getting worn down. It's something to think about for later. Now I'll just move over into the washing phase. Cause this bike is pretty dirty. Maybe used after the rain or used on the gravel trails. And you can see the, the bike wasn't super dirty, but there are some parts that are really dirty and uh, we'll get to that soon. I just want to make sure that I do a good job here, clean it off because I'm going to be working on it in my apartment and I don't want all that silt junk just falling on uh, on the floor making my wife upset. So as you can see here, it looks like uh, there's like dirt on this white bar tape, so it almost like it's makeup or something. And the pressure washer just takes it right off. Eh. Now. The owner doesn't really like this anymore, this white bar tape, so we'll be changing that soon. Another thing we'll be changing is this uh, barrel adjuster for the, the front shifter so that it matches the rear shifter. And this will help with shifting because it, it shortens the, the housing. It'll also increase the value just a bit because it'll look a lot better. So we'll just start here, remove the... Uh, cable and I'm just gonna use this like Ikea 5 mil wrench because that's what I have <laughs> on hand. This thing has a uh, kind of a, a roller built into it and we'll just remove this cable, pull it right out. Hey, it's still good but I'm gonna use a new one since since I have it out I may as well uh, give the person their money's worth and give them a new cable. And cables are getting really expensive these days. So you just slide it through the shifter because these are the old 105 5600s with the exposed cables. And we just slide on that uh, new barrel adjuster, grease the cable so that it's nice and slippy inside the housing. And as you can see, we've, uh, we've got our barrel adjuster installed. The housing is shorter, which decreases the travel of the cable. And there had been a, a little bit of a problem with that old cable setup because uh, the front derailleur just wasn't hitting the big ring. So I'm hoping that shortening the housing and the, uh, the, the new barrel adjuster will, will give it that little bit of extra tightness that it needs to uh, reach the big ring. So we'll just move to the rear derailleur here and we'll inspect the shifting. It is a little clangy. It, it's not shifting perfectly. Um, I'm going to try to fix it here with the barrel adjuster. So what I've done is I've brought it all the way down so to its loosest point and I'm just going to go up one or two clicks at a time and see how it goes. And whenever you see me go down it's because the, the, the shift just it wasn't correct. It wasn't as good as it could be. It wasn't as crisp. We can see on the way down, there's a bit of a hesitation there. And when that happens, it means that the cable's not loose enough. But we also need a, a certain tightness in order to move our way up the cassette. It's uh, a little janky. <laughs> so what we're going to do is measure the chain. Now, I was a little off there, but it was just to give me the basic idea. And yeah, we're going to look at it and... Every 12 inches just should line up pin to pin. And here you can see it's off like a half, half an inch. It's really more like a quarter because I didn't really line it up properly, but 
I know there's a shifting problem and a new chain is gonna fix that. There's a new chain. Shram. Shram. <laughs> Shram. And what we do is we just string it through, we measure. We kind of we we want to measure the small cog and the small ring. And then we just take off the appropriate amount of chain. Now I'm per <laughs> I'm purposely going to do it incorrectly here because I just want to show you what happens if you uh, you don't take off enough of the chain links because you always want to err on the side of caution so you don't want to take off too much because then you have to put links back on or it, uh, it can affect the shifting. So there you go you can see it's it's really loose so I'm just going to show you how to fix that you just I have the tools but Use whatever tool you can to break the link, the quick link, and we'll just start here. Take off one more link. We'll see how good we do. I don't want to take off too much just in case it's uh, it's too much and then there's a little too much strain on the, the rear derailleur. You can see there uh, when we're cross chaining small small that there's uh, a, a little bit of extra slack but you should never change. You should, you should never be in that shifting combination anyway. So here we go with the new chain. We can see it's it's a lot crisper. The shifting uh, all the way up, all the way down, and now we'll move on to the bar tape because the owner requested black bar tape. As you can see, I was able to wash it and get it really white, but it's a uh, it's not what the owner wants. So we're just gonna swap it out with this specialized S wrap which I paid 25 bucks plus tax <laughs> on sale. So I'm just going to give you the kind of the, the quick tape up here because uh, I'm going to make a separate video on uh, wrapping up handlebars with the new bar tape because it would be too long in this video and then, you know, nobody's going to watch it. <laughs> So one thing you're going to notice is I didn't reverse the direction of the bar tape uh, around the uh, the hoods area, around the, uh, the clamp, and there's a reason why I didn't do this, and it's subjected to this rider. Now at the beginning I was washing the bike and you could see that most of the dirt was, was on the tops, and you can see that there's cross levers, which tells me this rider basically is, is sitting there on the tops using the cross levers mostly. and that's going to make the direction of the hand move towards the front of the bars versus like a professional rider who is going to be pulling back on the team. It's, uh, it's about as good as it's going to get. So there, I, uh, I tested this out and there's a little bit showing on the, uh, the end of the, uh, the bar. So I just put a little piece of tape there and then I'll, I'll trim it off. Um, we're just going to take a look at our work here. It's not too bad, but, you know, that's just the way that this tape wraps. And I suppose I could have tried to do a perfect job, but I don't think it really matters. Uh, not with this one, anyway. So that's looking good. I don't see any uh, open spots. I don't see any metal. Then we'll just move on over to the, the front derailleur. It's shifting nice now. We get the trims. And as we can see, we uh, changed out the barrel adjuster. Now we're just going to do a final shift test on the rear derailleur. Um, seems to be shifting pretty good. Let's see. Let's see if we have to do some fine tuning here. And we got it all the way up to the big ring in the rear, the big cog. Um, dropping well. Do we see any problems? There's one little one there. But, uh, it could also just be my hand on the shifter. So, we're just gonna turn the barrel adjuster one turn, two turns. You see, you can see it's a little clang there. So, we're just that's what index shifting is. It's just uh, Fine tuning with the barrel adjuster, so that you get it perfect. And you, like I said, you have to find that balance between too tight and too loose. Too tight means that it won't drop. 
the chain won't drop on the cobs sharply and crispily, but too loose means that it won't climb properly. It'll jangle and basically just annoy the owner. There we go. Just uh, threw it into the small ring in the front and test it out. Like I said, you shouldn't cross chain, but it doesn't mean that people aren't going to do it. So you just got to make sure that it works okay. And there we go. Shifted nice. Here we go. We got all our work done on our Opus Stella. We changed the bar tape. We changed the barrel adjuster on the front shifter and decreased the travel of the cable. And now it matches the rear barrel adjuster, uh, adding a little value to the aesthetics. We'd already checked the brakes. You know they work fine. And front derailleur, new cable, new chain, mm, nice and tight, not too much play, rear derailleur's fine, and we know that there's a bit of a jank there in the middle of that cassette, but we don't have to change it yet. We already know the rear brake works fine. I hope you learned something from this video, or if you want to see me work on any other bikes, you can click right here.